Hello, Mr. Nielen here. Welcome to Final Fantasy VII using the Seventh Heaven L mod launcher. As you can see here, I'm using this Seventh Heaven mod launcher. Launch the mod. I'm in the game. They're playing using a bunch of mods, including the Gaia 7 Remaster. It's the main mod I'm using. The, a lot of mods are on. <coughs> Suna mods Echo S voice mod. We have uh, some uh, other mods on too. But the main mod is the Gaia 7 Remaster mod. Okay, <coughs> so we will continue where I left off. I spoke a little bit when I played, but uh, I believe I spoke mostly during the bombing mission, and then we continued to play without speaking, except for when we had something to say, like when, for example, we, we, we got to control Barrett Valak on the field, unlike in the original game. I had never seen that before. So, but anyway, we are outside of Erit's mom's house. We are controlling Cloud Strife. <coughs> Tifa Lockhart and Barrett Valak. Might need to lower the sound. Actually, I think we will uh, play without voice because this mod has a voice mod on. So we'll play without me speaking, but. Let's continue the episode. You finally think you're making a lie for yourself in the pits of Midgar. Then that huge thing collapses. Yeah, but what can we do about it? Sure it's noisy outside. I wonder what's happening. You never know what might happen, as we live in a crazy world. All you can really depend on is a mighty weapon, right? I never thought something like that could ever come crashing down. I think from now on, I'll be looking up as I walk. I never thought something like I think from now on. Have you seen that? A launch brought down the plate? Something has got to be done about those sucks. is being a big time killer in wall market. Even after all that noise, the guy's still in there like nothing happened. He seems far worse, I suppose.
Are we good? You take good care of them. this let's turn it up so now Hey people, come and stay here! Oh, it's you! Sorry, but we've heard all about you. In addition to dressing like a woman, you get your kicks from smashing stuff up. Our manor has a refined clientele. Understand? Now beat it! Lots of things fell from the sky, but that man with the tank took it all. I wanted some of that stuff too. I never dreamed that Plate 7 would fall down. That old guy with the tank says that if you're strong enough, you can get to the plate above. So, why not have a hearty meal? That was scary! Just look at this! Everything got covered in dust after the sky landed on us. Now I have to start all over!
Welcome. Please sit wherever you wish. Please have a seat. Hello, what would you like? Let's see. Sash, today's special. One special. Coming up! We have a cash first policy here. That'll be 70 gil, please. Thank you. Please wait a moment. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Enjoy. Let's see. It was all not really to my taste. It was... Thank you. I always get the special. Me like that. Welcome. Please take your time. Stop pushing. Learn some manners. So you're dressed normally today, huh? If you come up with any more ideas, be sure to run them by me. Welcome. It's this much kill at night. Thank you very much. Please come again. Hey, people! Come and... Is this pile of trash getting bigger? You know what? I think it is. Well, when District 7 collapsed, loads of stuff fell down here. I heard the owner of the weapons stores been gathering it all up. Oh, so that's why the pile's getting even bigger. He's been a busy boy lately, hasn't he? At least, that's what I'm hearing. You mean the rumor that he keeps heading off to the plate's cross section? Next to Mr. Corneo's mansion, right? <laughs> you really do keep on top of things. Just what is that guy up to? Whatever it is, I'm sure we won't like it. Well, training hard? You need to get tougher. Then you could make it up to the plate using that cable. Oh, you don't know? See the owner of the weapon store, the guy with the old tank. He'll fill you in. Okay. One. Two, three, squats are all about rhythm, big bro, I'm doing my best, how's this? Scary, isn't it? You just never know when the plate above might come crashing down. Wish I could climb it. I'd really like to see what's up there. Could I help you? If you'd like to order, please do so up at the bar. Hey!
you going up to the plate as well? Then you'll be needing these batteries. You're selling stuff you just picked up outside. You know about that, eh? Well, it's all been repaired, so it's cool. Why do I need batteries to climb up to the plate? You'll find out on the way up there. I'll sell you all three, eh? What do you say to 300 gil? Hmm. I say you're full of it. All right, let's have them. Friends have gone up there. They've got guts. <laughs> they used the cable. Yeah, at least the world above. All right, it's time to climb. That's just plain stupid. You know this goes up hundreds of meters. It can be done. There. What's that look like? Just a regular cable. Well, to me, it looks like a golden, shiny thread of hope. You're right. If we're gonna save Aerith, this is our only option. I didn't quite get your analogy, Barrett, but I understand how you feel. Let's go! Dad told me it's Shinra's doing. If I use a battery, maybe that propeller will start spinning. I guess I'll just have to trust the shopkeeper.
too. Looks like I'll have to jump onto that. I should make it if I jump just before it's right in front of me. Press. You ought to know all about this building. No, I don't. Come to think of it, this is the first time I've been to the headquarters. Well, I've heard a few things. Check this out. The floors above the 60th are special. Not even the guys who work here can get to them easy. I reckon that's where they've taken Aerith. No one's expecting us, so let's get in there. Now hold on! You can't just go marching in through the front door. Of course I can. I'm gonna kick some Shinra butt and... That's insane. We've got to find another way. Ain't gonna be no other way. If we keep wasting time like this, Aerith will... I know, but if we get caught here... Cloud, what do you think? We'll sneak in somehow. We're busting in. Now you're talking. Come on, let's move. Excuse me, if you don't have an appointment, you'll need to. You don't need no appointment. We're kind of in a hurry. Y'all want to live? Get the hell out of our way. Ah! Just who do they think they are? Could it be... Avalanche? Intruders, seize them!
What's the matter? I didn't want any trouble until we'd save Aerith. I had a feeling that wasn't likely to happen, though. <laughs> what is it? You're giving me the creeps. So there are times when even you'll fight for someone else. Guess I got you all wrong. I'm not interested in what you think about me. I'm just saying. Sorry for... before, you know? What the... Look! Damn! Make it stop, Cloud! I don't care where! What's going on? Make it stop, Cloud! I don't care where! What may? Get in my way, or else. Hey, what? Ah, uh, um, forget it. My mistake. I'll er uh, catch the next one. Thank you. 
Save the intruders! Make it easy on yourself and give up now! Oh, this is gonna burn! Get ready for it! Here it comes! That's all right. are you? Unauthorized personnel are not allowed in here. Look at all those damn guards running around. Cloud, go on ahead and give us a signal. We'll follow. Hey! What are you up to? Hey! What are you up to? Sorry about that. This isn't usually my style. Right. Well, don't fuck up again. We ain't got time for this. Keep to the shadows. Our only chance is when the guards are looking away.
wait for the soldiers to let their guard down, then give the signal to the others using Confirm. That's how it's done. We're gonna rock! Don't forget we're here to save Aerith. Hell, I know that. I've not seen you before. Just been assigned here? Well, don't you worry. I'll explain things. I'm kinda in a hurry. Things? Come on, what's with the face? I was only going to tell you about the floors above. The executives use a lot of the floors from the 60th onwards. You don't have a chance of reaching them without a key card. With a card, you can use the stairs and elevators freely. To use an elevator, all you need to do is press OK in front of the doors and... Voila! It will open after making that sound. Remember, there are different types of card. One key card alone won't let you roam everywhere. For example, key card 60 takes you up to the 60th floor, and key card 65 takes you up to the 65th floor. You see? Security like this is to be expected. Shinra are the sole distributors of energy in Midgar, and the whole world for that matter. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to ramble on. Well, all the best then. He's late. And he forgot his keycard? Even employees can't access floors above 59 without one. Who the heck are you? What are you doing here? Where's Aerith? Aerith? Well, if you hear about her, then... Aerith is the girl working at reception, right? And you're here to let me know that I have competition. Is that it? What? I've got it all wrong? Well, uh, let's just pretend this conversation never happened, okay? <sighs> He's late. Even employees can't access- This floor is used for R&R. &R. From this point on, there are a lot of special floors for the bigwigs. As for the rest of us, we slave away below all day. Trust me, it really takes it out of you. He's late. Even employees can't... I've not seen you before. Well, don't you worry. I'm kinda in a hurry. Oh? Well, that's too bad. Who the heck are you? What are you doing here? Aha! I get it. You're from that group, aren't you? The one everyone's been talking about. Shinra Company Repairs. You know... This building's showing its age. Take this floor. 
The door stuck wide open. Please fix it ASAP. Oh, and while you're at it, have a look at the other floors too. Here, you'll need this. How do you do? This is the office of the Mayor of Midgar. Mayor Domino is inside. Incidentally, I am the Mayor's assistant. Should you have any questions, please don't hesitate to run them by me. Hmm? Oh, who might you be? You all must be those... <clears throat> I'm Domino, the mayor of Midgar. Actually, I'm mayor in name only. The city and everything in it is really run by Shinra Inc. My only real job is watching over Shinra's documents. Me, the mayor, a librarian. Now, you want to get upstairs? I'll tell you what, you can guess the password. I'll give you my keycard. Yes, that's it. Guess the password, and I'll give you my keycard. Get it on the first try, and I'll even throw in a special item. Got it? Then tell me. The password is... Shin Mako, the mayor, blast that. Shinra goes boom. Blast that Mako. The mayor is a bomb. Mako is tops. Shinra is a fool. The mayor is the best. Nope. You're all wrong. It's a much better word than that. Try again. Got it? Then tell me. The password is... Shinra is a Mako is the mayor is a bomb. Blast that Mako. Shinra goes boom. Nope. You're all wrong. Got it? Then tell me. The password is... Shin... Nope. You're all wrong. Got it? Then tell me. The password is... Shimok the mayor is a bomb! The mayor is a bomb! God, how beautiful that sound! You are correct. My patience is at its limit. I may explode at any minute! Hmm, well, okay. Here, take it. Oh boy! You took your time! I guess not all of the lights are on upstairs, huh? Well, what the heck. Take this as well. Why would I do something like this, you ask? Revenge, of course! Shinra's been torturing me forever! That's why I was a little rough on you just now. Now go up there and really make them suffer! If you get tired, you should rest up in the other room. Oh, oh. oh lately, I've, lately I'm a bit self-conscious about this belly of mine. I handle the building's security, so I have to keep up my strength. must be visitors. Feel free to use any machine that's available. All 
all you need to regain your strength. The Shinra Gym Special Tonic. Only 250 kill. This is so stupid. Give it a try. Nothing came out. Is it broken? Give up. Bang on it. Sir, what are you doing? No violence, please! A rest area. Move on. Rest up. Verifying keycard, rank B. Employee confirmed. You are permitted to open up to three doors on this floor. Attention. If you receive a coupon, remember to exchange it for an item. Warning. Looking into ventilation shafts is dangerous. Please refrain from doing so. Better not. Yes. You have already opened three doors. By accessing the computer, it is possible to start over from the beginning. An air duct. Please enter a command. Coupon exchange. You can exchange your coupons for items. The items available are Coupon A Star Pendant Coupon B Four Slots Coupon C All Material Please note, after exchanging coupons, you can no longer issue the All Clear. Will you exchange coupons? Better not. Yes. Coupon exchange complete. Mm. 
the All Clear command is unavailable after exchanging coupons. Model of Midgar, the city that feeds off of Mako energy. Model of Midgar. Model of Midgar, the city. Model of Midgar. Model of Midgar. Model of Midgar, the city. Model of Midgar. What's this? A megaphone? We don't need that. What's this? A megaphone? We don't need that.
model of Midgar. The model's incomplete. Leave it alone. Insert the Midgar parts. Sounds like something opened up. Model of Midgar. The model's incomplete. Sounds like something opened up. Model of Midgar. The model's in. Sounds like something opened up. interested. The model of Midgar. The model's incomplete. Sounds like something open. Model of Midgar. Model of Midgar. The model's incomplete. Sounds like something opened up. Leave it to me.
Is it me or does the conference room stink? There's definitely a smell coming from somewhere. Phew. I'm fed up with carrying all these files. I get to meet lots of cute men though at least. One of the perks of being a secretary. When you're in the restroom, do you ever hear voices coming from somewhere? Like a load of whispering? They said it's another executive meeting. I wonder if it's about the plate incident. My job gives me a sense of purpose. With just the touch of a button, I feel like I'm controlling the world. Come on, come on! We're building the future of Mako! It's filthy. It's filthy. Climb up and have a look. Get out of here. Climb up and have a look. Jeez, that's a lot of suits. The damage report for Sector 7 has come in. When considering the industrial sectors that were present and the investments that we have made, the cost to our company is expected to be in the region of 10 billion gil. In addition to this, rebuilding Plate 7 is expected to cost... We're not rebuilding. What? Plate 7 is being left as it is. Instead, we're reopening the Neo Midgar project. So the ancient girl has... The promised land will be ours in good time. Ray's Marco rates 15% in all areas. Rate hike! Rate hike! Tra la la! And please include our space program in the budget! Reeve and Scarlet will divide the revenue generated from the rates increase. Mr. President, raising the rates further can only add to the discontent felt among our citizens. Don't worry, the ignorant fools won't lose confidence. Far from it, in fact. Now trust our company all the more. <laughs> After all, we're the ones who saved the people of Sector 7 from terrorists. Dirty lion! Ah, Hojo. How is the girl? As a specimen, she is inferior to her mother, Efana. I am still evaluating the difference, but for now the discrepancy is 80%. How long will this evaluation take? I estimate around 120 years. It's unlikely to be finished in our lifetime, or in the lifetime of the specimen for that matter. Which is why we're thinking of breeding her. That way we can create the offspring with the strength to endure our research over a longer period of time. What about the promised land? Won't this delay hinder our plans? That is my conviction. In any case, the girl will be a strong mother. Although, she does have a few frailties. <laughs> I think that concludes our meeting. Where's that smell coming from? They were talking about Aerith, right? I don't know. Probably. Let's follow him.
侯九。I remember him, that Hojo guy. He's in charge of Shinra's science department. Cloud, you know him? It's the first time I've actually seen him. So, that's who. Let's see. The specimen Hojo asked me for is. Proceed right away. Raise it to the floor above. My precious specimen. Precious specimen? Is it going to be used in biological experiments? Genova. Genova, Sephiroth, <laughs> so they brought it here. Cloud, pull yourself together. Did you see it? See what? It's moving. Is it alive? The hell is this headless freak? Man, that's messed up. Let's just get out of here. Is that her name? What do you want? We've come to take her back with us. Outsiders? You catch on real quick. There are far too many frivolous things in the world to concern myself with the likes of you. Are you going to kill me? I'd advise against it. The equipment here is extremely delicate. Without me, who would operate it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, good. I always recommend logical thinking, especially in moments such as these. Now, bring in the specimen. Woo! <laughs> 
What do you think you're doing? Lending a helping hand to some endangered species. Both are on the brink of extinction. If I don't intervene, these creatures will perish. Creatures? That's terrible! Aerith is a human being! You're gonna be! Barret, can't you do something? Alright, step back. Stop! Why have you? No! My precious specimens! Now's our chance! Thanks, Cloud. What's wrong? The elevator's moving. This inferior creature is nothing compared to the specimen down there. A ferocious specimen, indeed. The monster below is rather strong. I'll help you with it. It talked? I'll talk as much as you like later, miss. We'll take care of the monster. Keep Aerith safe. Barret, you help her. Tifa, I'm counting on you. Barret, you help her. What's your name? Hojo called me Red Thirteen. A name that means nothing to me. You may call me whatever you wish. Let's do it. Come on, you got this. I've got you covered. These flames shall purify. Yep, while you can. Like me! Nothing worthwhile. Make it easy on yourself and give up now! These flames shall purify. I don't have time for you. This'll hurt. These flames shall consume you. Aerith, are you okay? 
Looks like she will be now. I have a right to choose as well. I'm not that keen on two-legged things. What are you? Some kind of lab red dog? A fascinating question. And difficult to answer. I am what you see before you. I'm sure you have many questions. But I think it's best we leave here first. I'll show you the way. Cloud! So you did come for me. I apologize for what I did back there. It was merely an act to throw Hojo off guard. No need to be in this building now we've saved everything. We're getting the hell out of here. If the five of us move together, we'll be noticed. Let's break up into two groups. See you later. We'll be waiting at the elevator on the 66th floor. Later. Meet up on the 66th floor. Feeling good? Please don't kill me. I only did what Dr. Hojo told me to do. I'll prove it. Here, take my keycard. It'll get you as far as the 68th floor. Would I do this if I run their side? Up. 
suffer this affliction. up at the elevator on the 66th floor. going on would you press up please Turks must be a trap this must have been a real thrill for you did you enjoy it shit Got you too? Where's Aerith? In a safe place. She's invaluable to us, the last surviving ancient. Cetra? That girl is a survivor of the Cetra? The Cetra, or ancients will teach us about the Promised Land. I'm expecting to hear great things from her. The Promised Land? That's just a legend. An enthralling legend. So enticing it must be pursued. The Promised Land is said to be incredibly fertile. And if the land is fertile, then there's gotta be Marco. We won't even need to build any cash craving reactors there. The abundance of Marco will flow out all on its own. That is where Neo Midgar will be built. Our company's new glory. <laughs> Keep dreaming. Come. Surely you've realized by now. All that one requires to make a dream come true is money and power. Well, that concludes your audience. Come on, out of his way. Now hold it right there, and I have a shitload of things I gotta say to you, you greedy son of a bitch! For all other inquiries, please talk to my secretary.
I, w- I wonder how Aerith is doing. I wonder how Red 13 is doing. I wonder how Barrett is doing. I wonder I wonder how Aerith is doing. Cloud, are you there? Aerith, you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. I knew you'd come for me. Hey, you did ask for a bodyguard. The deal was for a day, right? Oh, I get it. Ah, Tifa! Tifa, you're in there too? Yeah, sorry about that. You know, Aerith, I have a question. Yes? Does the Promised Land actually exist? Oh, well, I don't know. All I do know is, the Setra are born of the planet. They speak with the planet, and they unlock the planet. Um, and then, the Setra will return to the Promised Land. A land of supreme happiness, which was granted by the planet. What does that mean? More than words, I don't have a clue. Speak with the planet. Just what does the planet say? It's real noisy. Like it's full of people. That's why I can't make out what it's saying. Can you hear it now? No. I've only been able to hear it at that church in the slums. And my mom once told me that hearing it clearly in Midgar isn't possible anymore. My real mom, that is. Aerith. You must leave Midgar. Then you'll be able to speak with the planet. And find your promised land. That's what she said. Back then, I thought I wouldn't be able to hear anything by now, but... Psst. Think we can escape? Gonna be tricky. Leave it to me. How you're so reliable. I, w- I wonder how Barrett is doing. Yo! Aerith is an ancient. And the ancients are all really called the Cetra. The ancients know about a place called the Promised Land. Which Shinra's really searching for. But the Promised Land's only mentioned in stories. We don't know if it exists or not. That right? Those jerks say the Promised Land is full of Mako energy. So if they find it, They'll suck it all up. And the land will wither away there too. The planet will get even more run down. I'm not gonna let them get away with it. Avalanche is recruiting new members. Me, Tifa, Cloud, uh, Aerith. How about you? God, you're so damn boring. I wonder how Red 13 is doing. Grandpa. Grandpa? <laughs> Grandpa. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> What's so amusing? Nothing. <laughs> Don't get some sleep. The door's open. When did that happen? What's going on? Tifa, wake up! What's wrong? Something's not right. Take a look outside.
What happened? He should have the keys on him. Tifa, help Aerith. I'll go get Barrett in Red 13. Barrett, Red 13. Something's wrong. Hey, how'd you get in? What the hell's going on? This isn't the work of man. I'll check up ahead. Leave this to me. You guys keep moving before we get caught again. Come on, let's follow Red 13. Leave this to me. You got Nova specimen. It's moved to the floor above. Let's use the elevator. Leading somewhere. Above? Leader of Shinra's dead. The sword is Sephiroth. You mean Sephiroth is alive? Looks like it. Only he can wield that. 
Who cares who did it? Shit was finished! <gasps> Please, don't kill me! What happened? Sephiroth! Sephiroth came! You saw him? You saw Sephiroth? Yeah! I saw him! With my own eyes! Really? But I lie at a time like this! I heard his voice, too! Um, he said something about not letting us have the Promised Land! What does that mean? Does the Promised Land really exist? And Sephiroth came here to save it from Shinra? So he's a good guy, then? Save the Promised Land? A good guy? No way, it's not that simple. Believe me. Sephiroth must have some other goal. Rufus. Shit. Forgot about him. Who? As President Rufus. The president's son. I heard he's been assigned somewhere else for a while. They say he's real cold-hearted. I wonder what sort of person he is. Even I know of him. So Sephiroth is alive, after all. Who are you? Cloud. Ex-soldier. First class. I'm from Avalanche. Same here. I sell flowers in the slums. Research specimen. What a crew. Well, I'm Rufus, president of the Shinra Company. The old fool's still warm. Not wasting any time, are you? True. As a courtesy, I'll let you hear the speech for my inauguration. Father controlled the world with the power of money. And that worked for him. Shinra made the people feel safe. They thought they were being protected. Work at Shinra, get your pay. Any trouble, any terrorism, and the Shinra army is there for you. On the surface, it's a perfect setup. But I do things differently. I'll control the world with fear. My father's way is far too expensive. You can control the hearts of men with a little fear. So, why waste good money on the mindless masses? Be under no illusions. I am not my father. Well, you're no different to him when it comes to speeches, that's for sure. Take Aerith and get out of the building. What? I'll explain later. Barrett, there's a crisis facing the planet. What the hell's that supposed to be? I'll talk about it later. Just trust me on this. I'll catch up with you after I take care of him. Uh, Alright, Cloud. I'll wait for him. You guys get to the elevator. Hmm. It's bound to be tougher from here on. We should check our equipment. So about Cloud and Tifa's material?
shall come soon. Why do you want to fight me? Because you seek Sephiroth in the Promised Land. That's right. Did you know that Sephiroth is an ancient? Figures. Anyway, I can't let either you or Sephiroth have the Promised Land. I see. I guess this means we won't be friends. Huh. 
<laughs> I don't have time for you. Get this over with. Hmm, that's all for today. I couldn't finish him off. Something tells me he's going to be a real problem for us. Surrounded on my own, it'd be nothing. What about you guys? Leave while you still can. It's not you they're after, it's me. <laughs> not gonna happen. You got caught up in this protecting my lead. Now it's my turn. I won't let him. I won't let Shiva do whatever they want anymore. Thank you, <laughs> Mr. Barrett. <laughs> Give me a break, Mr. Barrett. <laughs> That don't sound right at all. Well then, if you are both through talking, may I suggest we think of a way to escape? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> You're too damn cold for my liking, just like someone else I know. Is something troubling you? Not a thing. So what we gonna do? <laughs> Tifa, what about Cloud? Everyone, over here! No? What up? Where's Cloud? I'll explain later. Hurry! We have to hurry! Uh, Alright. Where to? Better be the hell out of here. That's it? Come on! Tifa! Follow me! Your ass, Red! Shut up! No. Hey, Let's move. Red, are you sure about this?
for this one. I don't have time for you. I'm not interested. Sephiroth is alive. I... I have to settle the score. And that'll save the planet. Maybe. Right. I'm going with you. Me too. There are things I need to know. About the Ancients? Many... many things. I guess... It's goodbye, Midgar. Our journey starts here. It's dangerous. Worried? I don't know. But I've got no place to go back to now, so... I guess I'll have to like traveling. Now that I think about it, this will be the first time I've ever left Midgar. It's dangerous. You up to it? You don't like traveling? A little. Hmm, no. Maybe a lot. But I've got my jack of all trades, right? We told Aerith's mom to go somewhere safe, so Marlene should be safe, yeah? Well, yeah. She told me... she didn't like Midgar anymore. Looks like all this came at the right time. Okay. Let's go. We'll stay here for a while. Let's go. From here on, we need a leader for our journey. Of course, that could only be me. Hmm. I don't know. I think it has to be Cloud. <laughs> all right, all right. There's a town called Calm, northeast of here. We'll meet up there. The five of us can't just stroll around the plains together. It's too dangerous. We should split into two groups.
saving on the world map. On the world map, access the menu anytime and select save to save your game. Like me. 